was incredible. And there was so much laughter, and that's what really made it a perfect romance. Um, he was an exchange student, though, so he left at the end of term. And um, what I got to keep was the word sandhog. And it stayed with me. And people say, why did you call the show Sandhog? It's because for me, it's such a special word. It is the perfect romance, Sandhog. Anyway, and then a year and a half later, I left the university and I moved to London. And then one day in London, out of nowhere, I bumped into this boy. And then 20 days later, as you do, we got married. <laughs> Did you notice how nervous the laughter was there? People are like, that took a dark turn. <laughs> are you sure your husband would never have an affair? Are you sure? <laughs> are you sure he wouldn't have an affair? And I was like, you know, I started thinking about it. And I started thinking, no, I know my husband. And then I thought, open marriage? What if I say to my husband, are you into an open marriage? And he says, yes. Does that mean he wants to have an affair? Then I started thinking about affairs. You know how you do that thing where you start thinking of one thing and then suddenly you're thinking of turnips? Like, your mind is, you know, like this. So I started thinking about affair. Then I thought, what if my husband had an affair? Could my marriage withstand it? And I thought, yeah, I know him pretty well, I suppose. We would talk about it. And then I thought, what if he just came home one day and said, look, man, I've been having an affair. Do I love him in that way that I know some people do, where they can forgive? Would I be able to forgive him? And then I thought, I think the most important question is, if my husband told me he had been having an affair, do I love our children enough, you know, that I would never tell them how their father died? <laughs> but to stay married and stay happy, because it's not naturally the same thing, to stay married and stay happy, what you must do is keep your focus on what is important. Keep your focus on what is important. Let everything else fall away. See, I'll explain. The other day, my husband and I were having an argument, a face-to-face -face one, the one where he's actually at home. Um, so we're having an argument. And, uh, well, I mean, I say argument. The fact is, after 21 years, my husband and I don't really have arguments. We have throwdowns. <laughs> you know throwdown? Like MMA level. <laughs> Do you know what MMA is, sir? Yeah, marriage martial arts. Proper <laughs> MMA. No matter what the topic, my husband and I both always bring it for everything. Because we know that after 21 years and three kids, nobody is fucking going anywhere. <laughs> right? We are just trying to get to the end of this somehow. Explain. Getting married is like a sprint. From the moment you decide you're the one, you're the one, we're spending our life together, oh my God, from there, it's a sprint to the finish line of the party, the wedding, whatever, right? It's you, it's you, oh my God, yay! And then you have the party or the wedding and people are throwing rice on you or you're going on a fire for seven days, whatever your deal is. It's amazing, yay! That's a sprint. When you finish the sprint, everyone leaves, you and your partner holding hands, so excited. You look over there, you say, what's that? Huh, is that a marathon track? Yes, and that is called staying married. <laughs> this is getting married, that is staying married round and round and round and round. <laughs> the same track with the same person, and if you're doing it properly, it's forever. <laughs> Which was fine when they invented all these ideas because we all died at 34. <laughs> I have been married for over a decade. Which means for over a decade, I have been working with this man I have been working on this man. And Apollo, I won't lie to you, I have been manipulating the shit out of this man <laughs> to make him a mildly agreeable spouse. <laughs> and I'm going to die and some bitch is going to inherit that? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's all mine. So anyone here who is married or in a long-term relationship? Yeah. yeah. Among you, there will be at least one person listening to this and you're saying, she's very funny, but that's not how my relationship works. <laughs> we are very transparent with each other. <laughs> I know, and you are thinking this because you are the loser. <laughs>